So these are the tub shower valves that I'm going to be putting in. And so I got them all laid out, got all my fittings laid out. And I'm going to, when I install these, um, I got half inch packs coming to, to these. So I'll have a PEC connect, PEX connection for the hot and the cold. And then um, you want to run, you don't want to run PEX down to your tub spout because the inside diameter of PEX is smaller than copper. It's actually below half an inch and it won't allow enough water to come out. And what will happen is that the extra water will feed up to your shower and actually drip out your shower. So at the bare minimum, you want to run a half inch copper from the bottom of your rough end valve down to your tub spout. What I like to do is run half inch copper down and then also half inch copper up to the shower head because that also allows more water up to the shower head. So the PEX is like under half an inch and the inside diameter of copper is actually a little over half an inch so you're going to have a little more flow going up to your shower head. So what I'm going to do is take all of these valve um, in the inside parts out. That way uh, when I solder none of this will get damaged. So, so this cartridge this is what actually controls the balance of your hot and cold water. I have to take out these four screws and then that whole assembly just pops out. So that's what we're going to do now is take all those off. So now that we got that all out, there's nothing in there can, that can get damaged when we're soldering um, this copper in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over and I'm going to dry fit these on each of the showers and get my side fittings put on, measure for my pieces of copper to go down to my tub's uh, drop ear. And I just use these drop ears that I can screw into a 2x4 and they're so these are set up for soldering copper into. And I use the same at the top for the shower. This is, I cut a three and a half inch hole here where the controls go. And this is for a tub shower um, combo. So 30 inches from the bottom of the tub to here. And then I go 10 inches down to the tub spout. So basically 20, 30, and then I like my shower head up at seven feet. So I do 84 inches for that. So now that we got these dry fitted, you kind of just in there loosely. We can do a couple things. Um, we're gonna cut three blocks, two by four blocks. So we'll have one here that this will screw to. We'll have one down here at our drop ear for our tub spot we'll screw to, and then we'll have one up here that our shower drop ear will screw to. So we'll get the measurements for these, get those blocks all cut, and then we'll cut the piece of copper for down to the tub and the piece of copper up to the shower head. So these three pieces of copper right here go from the rough end valve up to the shower head, and I cut those at 50 inches to get my shower head where I wanted it. And these three right here go from the rough end valve down to the tub spout, and they are eight and an eighth inches long. So once you get your copper cut to length, you want to make sure you deburr the inside of it, and then use some emery cloth or some really fine sandpaper to sand the outside edge, put some flux on it, you can put your fitting on it, and then you can go ahead and solder it.
Now that I got all the drop ears soldered on, I want to solder these on to the roughen valve and you want to make sure that you look on the roughen valve and make sure you put the right piece of copper at the right spot. It'll say shower or tub. Just make sure you verify that before you solder these on. I know heat obviously rises, but I found with these, without doing a lot of messing around, I find that if I do the long part first, I get, make sure this is sitting flat on the floor and that sitting flat on the floor, the drop ear. And then I literally just take this and set it on the edge of my toe. And that gives me enough height that I don't catch the floor on fire. And then once I get it soldered, I drop it down, make sure it's square, and then I make sure this piece is pushed in. And then I push it down, make sure we're square, and then raise it back up on my foot again so I have the clearance to solder that. So those are all ready to go. All right, so now that we have these um, rough in bodies, um, the copper soldered on the top and the bottom for the tub uh, spout and the shower head. We're going to hook up our pecs to these connections over here. And if you're standing in the shower looking at this, hot goes on the left, cold goes on the right. So it's actually opposite back here. If I'm looking at this, the cold's going to be over here on the left. But just take yourself 90 degree fitting here. You're going to hold your line up here so you can see where it lines up. Mark your pipe, cut it off nice and square, stick your fitting in, put your pipe in there, hold it up there where you want it. Mark. Now you can crimp all that on right there. And then we can do the same for the hot side. perfectly the way you want them you can you can turn these even after you crimp them so don't get too worried about that all right so we got those lined up and typically we can't get those in um, with that in there and plus we got to screw our blocks on so what we're going to do now is take those screws loose. Um, we got our boards here with our marks. We placed those in there and marked where this valve body is. So we know where to screw it. So we're going to mark that. Scribe lines there, there. Same for the bottom. We put that in there and we marked it. So we're going to screw it, scribe a line, scribe a line, and as you remember I got it marked so I know exactly how it's going to go. I just get it centered 
in between those lines and then it'll be exactly where it needs to be. Alright, now <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I can't put this board on until I get these crimped on. And there's other ways to do this, guys. I just find this is the easiest way for me to make sure I get everything on here square. So I just slide this bottom board in there now. Slide that on there. Slide that on there. Now I can crimp those. I just rest this on my shoulder. My shoulder right here. Alright, now I can screw this board on. Alright. And then these you want on the inside of the 2x4. And then if I did this right, those screws should line up. The screws are back in. I just gotta screw this into the two studs and this into the two studs and that will be absolutely rock solid. But one thing you wanna check, which it should line up perfect, is if your tub spout is in the center. And you can see that it is in the center. That, those screws line back up perfectly so they're back in and secured. That's lined up so now I can screw those two blocks into the studs. Right, you can see that is rock solid. So now I just gotta screw this one in. So that's never going anywhere. So it's nice and nice and solid. So now we just have to take our two by four and hook it up on that up there. That's it for this step. So these are all hooked up. See, it's nice and straight. This copper is nice and solid. These blocks make this nice and solid. And guys, like I said, you can put these blocks in first before you put your shower and try to get this uh, lined up right. But I find it's easier to put my tub shower in if I have access to the walls. Obviously in new construction you do, so I like to um, just run my pecs up, then put my showers in, drill my holes, and then I can align my valve body and my drop ears where they need to go, and then there's no chance I'm gonna mount this in the wrong spot and then have to move it. I don't know, for me, that's easier, and this actually works out really well and it's nice and solid, so. I'm gonna put this uh, balancer and this is the in, inside of the valve and you can adjust the temperature on these. I don't know if you can see that there's letters A, B, and C and A is the hottest and it's set at B right now so I'm going to take this little plastic clip out and I'm going to move it over so it can get as hot as it possibly can. I have on-demand water heaters where I can set the temperature so I'm not worried I want this at the hottest it can go and then I will control the temperature at the um, water heater but anyway that little clip you can see it just comes out and then you rotate it and put it in at A and then that's the hottest it goes. Now if you want to make it cool, colder, B or C, you go all the way to C, but A is where I want it. That 
slides in there like that. Take this little retainer ring. Goes in there. And then you got your four screws. Few parts here. This little plastic goes right over this right here. It's basically like a little bitty gasket that just slides on that right there. Pretty simple. This little guy gets screwed on right here. And you need no tools to do this. You just gotta be careful that you don't cross thread this. And you just go until it, it won't go anymore by hand. So that's in there. Next, this little piece goes on here. This is what your the grooves your handle will go on to. That just slides on like so. The screw goes in the middle. Snug that up. Your cover goes on. And then this piece here has threads inside here which will go on, will thread onto this cup. So you have no visible screws. So this just literally screws on like so. And just snug it up and that's it. That's off. That's all the way hot. All right, so the next step here is to hook up the tub spouts and um, shower and tub kit that I bought. They have a really cool way that you can do that, and I'm going to show you. So I just take some scrap piece of copper. You can use copper or threaded pipe for this part. Um, I find the copper is the easiest way to do it. So I just take a scrap piece that I know is going to come out quite a ways, um, and I solder on a male half inch fitting that'll go into that drop ear. So we're just gonna stick that through there. Start it on there. And then we'll go over to the other side and tighten it. the other side and I'll show you how we do that. Alright so we have, <clears throat> if any of you have ever hooked up a tub spout, the hardest part is get getting that nipple that comes out here the right length so that this fits up against there tight. And that is a guessing game and with this it completely takes that guessing game out of the equation and you can get this nice and secured. We already have that drop ear secured to a 2x4 so that's nice and solid. So what this is, is it's a basically a two-part. You got your tub spout, and then you got this uh, little insert. And the reason I like using the copper, because we'll cut this spout that we put on right here an inch and a half to two and a quarter inches out. That's where you need to cut it. And then this piece will slide over it. You tighten this little uh, lock nut. There's a little sealing O-ring in there. And then you screw your tub spout on it and it gives you a perfect fit where you can get it nice and snug. So the first thing we got to do is measure an inch and you got to be an inch and a half to two and a quarter out. So I'm just going to go two inches. And then we're going to cut that off at two inches. And that's why I just use scrap pieces of copper and make sure they're plenty long. Then I don't even have, there's no guessing in you know how far that that fitting is going to screw into the drop ear so I get it that all fastened in and then I mark this and cut it off. Right, so you want to make sure that you deburr this. The inside, make sure that's good and deburred. And once you deburr the inside, I take some really fine grit uh, sandpaper and I just sand the edge. And this is important because there's an O-ring inside here 
and you want to make sure this is nice and smooth so when it slides on there it doesn't get damaged. So now that we got uh, that on there, it's deburred, all you do is slide this piece on nice and easy until it's up against the edge of the fiberglass there and then you take this included hex wrench and tighten this. So that's on there nice and tight now as you can see. Now there's another sealing o-ring right here. Now all you do is take your tub spout and screw that on there. And you see guys that is tight. There's no wiggle in that. I think I can even go one more time. And that is nice. Nice and tight. So that's how easy it is to install and get a good installation on this uh, tub spout. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, this is helpful to somebody. If you're interested in uh, that shower, tub shower control that I installed, just check the description <laughs> and uh, you can find a link to that um, in the description of this video. But don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, we really appreciate it. And make sure you stay tuned this week because we are going to do a walkthrough of our current living conditions here in the garage <laughs> and share that with you as if uh, some of you are going to uh, be doing this build, uh, self-building yourself. You might want to consider um, something like what we're doing. So until next time, we'll catch you on the next video.